don't miss this one. Right, we got a green over as we go then. A green, a clutch start. And they're being very, very cautious, these drivers, in these terrible conditions. Go side by side as they go down the back straight into that pit bend of ours, using the centre of the track where they get more traction, that's 337. Number three, 237 and 64. 54, 309, 181, 56, 13, and lot of it's up. 356, 609, and 511, there they go. 337, being very, very cautious. One another on first. And 7 11. That's the lead car. On his own now. As he goes down the back straight, nothing in it. Goes through on the inside of young Joanne. She's quite happy to carry on. And as long as she finishes the race, she's quite happy. Oh, we got her. One that's falling by the wayside already, number 64. Moves to the infield out of the way. So there they go. Gingerly all behind one another out of that famous long bar. And down the back straight they go. But the lead car. Way out in front. Now they're starting to come to a breath. 237, 609 and 13. Up one of those cars is going to make a break very, very shortly. Because it's 337, our lead car. Then number three. Oh, and he's pulled to the infield. Is that 711, 511? There they go then. I believe that's 511. No, that's 711. Number three still in second as they go past me and into the famous long bar. Oh, what a gap now. 181's breaking away. And then comes 237, 309. Number 13 there on the inside. You've got to be so careful because any one of those cars could just drift and catch him and his ends bill. So there they go. That's where he wants to be, way out in front. Now what will he do? As he comes down the back straight into the bit bend. He's got seven cars ahead of him. Six cars. And any one of those can be a little bit naughty if they slip the wrong way. Few sparks coming off that car, the red and yellow one. So something's rubbing in that 54 car. Where's our lead car? There's 181 and 211 still going strong. 356, but there's our lead car. Down the back straight and 54 full to the infield. He's not happy with the performance. So there they go. 337. 3. 181. And then a long gap. Oh, and they're really starting to pour the power on now. 56, 609 and 13 and 356. But the lead car is between these two. There's not much in here between 337 and number 3. As they go down the back straight, will he take him? Will he go for it on the inside? There's number 13 and 356, but the lead car is 337. And number 3 is watching him like a hawk. What will he do? Will he burst away? Or will he be quite happy to stay where he is? And 
Dutch eight seconds. And there they are then. So it's 337 and number three. And I got a sneaky feeling he's gonna make a break. As he goes down the back straight, weighing the situation up now. There's 309. 606, 609 and 13 in front. But these two cars, 337, 191 coming up fast. And 237. Got to go for the inside now. Because they're really starting to go on him now. And there they are. It's 337, 3. 181's making a break. There's 237. But the lead car as he still goes down the back straight. And into that pit band of arms. Keep it to the centre track. No one can get a lot of traction there. But number three. Will he hold him out enough to take the checkered flag and gain victory? There he goes, then we'll just ball up and that checker flag. 181 there. What will he do? But number three just keeps him at bay as they go down the back straight. It's looking good for 337 because he knows he's only got three laps this time round. 337. 181 and the rest of the back are struggling now. 211 still going. But it's between these three. As he comes out of the pit bend with two laps to go, he's going for it. 181. What too sure what to do. It's now or never. He's only got one lap to go in. And there they are all across the raceway. Three abreast. And there is 337, 3181. For this final. Oh, and this could be excited now. And interesting as they go down into the pit bend. Jagger flags at the ready. 337. 181 and number three. Oh, and there's been a bit of a pile up already on that pit bend. Keep them coming. So there they go. 211 got involved with that. All these. Four drops, 25 lapper it was. It's not easy when you get the track and it's very, very slippy. Very, very slippy out there tonight. The information and Jane's out there. And we get her on her Roman mic and she can challenge the driver. Okay, so don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, give him a nice round of applause. Give him a nice, make it a noisy one for this driver. 337. We want to hear a lot more about him. And then you can do it. So Jane, over to you. Thank you very much, Frank. The first thing we're going to do is sort out the race winners first. So in third place, we've got number three. Would you like to come over and receive your trophy? This is Katie Beale, our mascot tonight. Would you like to get in the back of the pace car? In second place was 181. There we go, like to, there we go. 
and I know that we're going to get a really big cheer because they're all stood over there for Fruit Street 7, Lisa. I'd like to give that one to Lisa. I knew we were going to get a big cheer, so that's why I tried to hold on to it for a little bit. I to get in the back of the pace car. Well done, Lee. Sorry, we don't know your name. Carl was number three. Just going to find out who the points champions are. If you like to put the Casey's just going to hold on a minute and we're going to give out the point. I've got to find out who is so tight, so close with second and third. I'm just going to find out who that is. In third place was 56, Ian Palmer. There we go, so let's give that to Ian. There we go, so I'd like to receive your trophy from Casey there. And in second place, and he really did work hard tonight, and he really, really does deserve this because he has pulled out the stops. And that's 181 Neil Wallington. And the points winner for the season of 2002 hasn't been on the back of the pace car much this season, but very consistent in the middle of the field. And that's 609 Cliff Yates. I'd like to receive a trophy from, there we go. I'd like to shake, to shake his hand. There we go, he's a points winner. If you're, well done. Well done to all the drivers. Congratulations. If you'd like to get in the back of the pace car, if you'd like to get in the back of the pace car as well, can we have... Can we have a sit in the middle there? So it's nice and safe. That's it, climbing. This is quite a nice thing for a mascot, really. They don't get it to do it very often because of insurance purposes. I am, but you, everyone, I can sit on the back. I can sit anywhere. I'll hold on to the back. And, uh, oh, take a photograph there. <laughs> The photograph, we've got to have this photograph for the album. Oh, it's, they've got to take their hats off. I'll put it back on. <laughs> oh, the smile is all the horrible. <laughs> I'm surprised Ian hasn't broken his camera. But, okay, Gavin, take it away. I'll hold on to the back here. Now then, first of all, the race. 337. You took it. There we go, there's the family, all the way from Bays and Stoke. Took it really right from the beginning. Had a little bit more luck in that race, didn't we? 